All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Mikey Pipes, back again at this Ream R22 5-ton condensing unit that, that just the other day, just the other day, uh, we went out to on an emergency. The system's not cooling. It's 5.30 in the evening, and we found a, um, a hockey puck inside the unit. Yeah, I'm calling it a hockey puck. We found the hockey puck inside the unit, also known as a soft start, that wasn't doing its job anymore. And a lot of you ridiculed me, right? A lot of people, you you know, you're sitting in your parents' basement, you're wearing tidy whities and a wife beater, and you're sitting in front of a keyboard, and you have no idea how to, an air conditioning system works other than what you read and watch on YouTube. All right, so... Yeah, I just got to get that out of the way. The point that I was trying to make in the video was that the soft start, right, which was undersized, was preventing continuous compressor operation. I took that out. I delivered comfort cooling to the home when his wife was hot and now she's not. And we followed up with a preventative maintenance service call. Now here it is Friday, September 8th, 2023. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. Daniel's inside. I'm outside, let's do some PM. Right, before we get started, guys, I want you to check out that QR code right there. I want you to check out that QR code. Pause the screen right now. That is a QR code so you can donate to, to my nonprofit charitable organization, the Mikey Pies Philanthropy Charitable Nonprofit Public 501c3 Recognized Charity where we provide free or low cost plumbing, heating, cooling services to those in our community who can't afford to hire a professional. Guys, every dollar counts, donate a dollar, scan that QR code in, do it now. All right, now, many of you had commented by the lack of clearance between the wall and the condensing unit. This is an iPad mini, right? It won't fit in that way, it won't fit in this, it'll fit in this way, right? Yes. We have too close clearance to the house. However, if you take a look at my condensing pad unit, I'm sorry, the condensing unit pad, right? It's not there. It used to be over a little bit more. So easy fix, ladies and gentlemen, easy fix. Why must you hate so much, guys? Why so much hate? We should all be learning from one another. Learning from one another. And every day, your goal, just like it is my goal, to learn something new every day. I'm gonna show you how I fix it. You see, I just took it away from the wall a little bit. We got about 10 inches of clearance there now, and we're good to go. We're good to go, all right? Take a look at our condensing coil. She looks pretty clean there, right? But, but, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there, we're wearing a fur coat. That is a fur coat. Okay, while the system is running, let's hook up our amp meter, the Fluke 902 FC, and let's check our current amperage reading that the system is sucking out of this house. All right, on L1, the black wire of 18.8 volts, our red wire, 18.3 volts, purple, 9.9. .9. Let's do the yellow, 1.5. That's going to our condenser fan motor. Let's get one on the black. See, I'm trying to do this one-handedly. The black, 1.2, and the brown, 0.6.5. Okay, let's get our, uh, I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> Look at it. The yellow wire amperage, 24 volt circuit is 0.3. All right, let's do our red going into our compressor, 15.9. Our black going to our compressor, 17.1. All right, so let's take a look at this real fast, right? So we're doing 19 amps of power coming into L1, almost 19 amps, 18.5 going to L2. Okay, uh, we have that filthy coil we had that soft start right here, right? That I learned, right? Learning something new every day. I learned that in Australia, you have these everywhere, right? I learned that. Now, maybe someone from the land down under is lying to me, but like I say, if you ain't testing, you're guessing. We're gonna shut this unit down and we're gonna clean that coil. All right, I removed all the screws holding the condenser fan motor to the unit. Remove the yellow wire. 
sorry, yellow. Am I colorblind? <laughs> the uh, orange, which went on to our common terminal. There's our, our fan terminal and black. All right, that's all disconnected there. So now, Peter, if you do the honors, mm -hmm. that whole thing should lift right up. Oh yeah? Very nice, very nice. And we only have a single row coil here. I don't like splitting coils anyway. I'm not taking a chance, especially with an R22 system. $250 a pound, psh, man, you get a hole there, you get a crack there, a leak, man, you're done. You're done. All right, so um, let's remove some side panels. Now, this is an older style ream, so it's not as easy as the, the other ones. We have screws along the sides. We have screws in the bottom, but I want to take the cover off. Right, which is one piece here for three sides. So I want to get to this side right here. I want to show you guys all of that. Oh, wow. Talk about lack of maintenance. Look at this. Look at all that mulch going on inside here. The base of the condenser. Wow. Crazy. Daniel, the reason why this unit had a soft start. You know why? Do you know why? By the way, if you don't know, the land right here uh, is for sale for 1.9 mil. Really? Right here. Land? Yeah, the land. Not even a house? Not even a house. The land. Okay. So the reason why is because of that. So the Tesla power walls. That is why. Well, you should. But that is why there was a soft start in there to reduce that inrush current. That inrush amperage. None of those connect to here? No. Whose hose is that? Hey, how are you? Hi. Zero. This is Theo. It's my, I bought it. You bought the hose? Oh, yeah. But you know the hose force doesn't work. No, I didn't until this morning. And, <laughs> um, um, we have the gardener here and my husband and um, the gardener were turning off every witch pipe. Yes. And then um, Tanya kindly told me that she's in the middle of dishes and she didn't have water. So they realized, okay, this is not for the hose. So I'm, I'm willing to wager somewhere in the crawl space the or maybe if you're lucky, maybe in the boiler room, which is kind of like the crawl space yeah. dungeon entrance, yes. that maybe there is a valve for this. Okay. So I'm willing to wager it's probably in the boiler room. That would be really, really nice, but I wouldn't expect it. <laughs> so my husband actually ironically got a call from the sprinkler company saying yes. that they were going to... Um, turn off the sprinklers because no one was using them. Okay. So that tells me they're on. The sprinklers are on. I'm seeing the water to the... No, it's a different system usually. Okay, I'm learning a lot of new things. It's okay. Today. Can I get you guys water? No, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very right. I gave them both the rundown of what they had, mm -hmm. Daniel, what of what, what they had. the soft start. Oh, okay. Right? Because this is the service call where the soft start killed the compressor. And it's not clickbait. It really was. The soft star killed the compressor. It killed power to the compressor. It wasn't running anymore. Right? If I kill you, that's permanent. That's death. But if I kill power to the compressor, right? maybe I could have said killed power to the compressor, but it, it makes... We had a lot of views. I got like a 13% click-through rate. <laughs> My normal channel is only eight. What do you mean by like that means they... No, I have... I have like 25,000 views on this video in the last 20, uh, 48 hours, which is... Which is a lot, which is good. All right, so, Peter, hmm? remove the mulch. See how hot that is. Oh, damn. I've never had that before. This is an 80, you know what we're gonna do? I already, I already planted the seed. We're gonna sell our new unit. Well, that's gonna come over time, yes, because our 22 system, and they're eventually gonna do what I wanted to do 10 years ago, is move this condensing unit to the other side of the house, eliminating this 200 foot line set. Yeah, I was wondering. It's all on the other side of the house, and yet the condenser is here, right? But when I found the leak on the evaporator coil, like six years ago, that ended the conversation of replacement because they were selling the house, and I fixed the leak. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in an AMRAD 80 over 5 dual capacitor with the C, uh, C, 
CPT, CPT terminal and it had a hard start. Okay. Amarad, Titan Pro. Oh, it's a five. Oh, yeah, it's a big boy. This is a big boy. This is a big boy. Just like your sister. Oh, wow, look at all that. That is what we call a fur coat. That is a fur coat, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a dual capacitor. This is a Titan Pro. There it is. It's in the garbage. All right, so we kicked it out away from the house a little bit. It would have been nice if this elbow was longer, more of a, of a girth there. But uh, right now we're doing a pre-rinse on the coil. Totally disassembled. It's very nice. Our power is off. It's really, really nice. Guys, check out the Mikey Pice Philanthropy uh, YouTube channel and donate right there as a QR code. Donate, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want a free sticker, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Um, if you want to make a donation to the postage fund, that way I can continue sending out free stickers to people all over the world. Um, you can Zelle, Venmo, Cash App, uh, crypto, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge. I take it all. I am a true, true, true hustler. Hustling. Hustling. You got to hustle, right? Stacks from hacks. Ain't that right? Stacks from hacks. Okay. It's okay. Very nice. Look at that. And that's for the three to five ton? No, four to five ton. Okay. Very nice. We're going to use the 521 compressor saver. This is a CSRU3, four to five ton. That's for scroll and reciprocating compressors. Okay. That's going to get wired in with our new dual capacitor. And uh, we're going to be good to go here. Can't wait. I can't wait to get the system up and running, giving this old lady, this old lady, a new breath of life. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. You see, and all those armchair HVAC technicians sitting in their parents' basement, right? They're sitting in their parents' basement in front of a computer, wearing tidy whities and a wife beater, eating like Philly, Philly cheesesteaks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? I like to see them. I like to see them do what we're doing right now in the, in the night, oh, it's 80 degrees with 100% humidity in New York. And yes, we could have brushed it off first, but you know what? I get more, it's more, it's more gratifying watching water with dirt splash against white vinyl siding. It's not, if that was black siding, it would, it would be as fun. But since it's white vinyl siding and the, and the, the cocky flying off of this condensing coil, get, get like right here, go down with like right, right there. No, go, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It's like almost orgasmic. <laughs> I prefer brushing it off, right? Yeah. Wow. I have one, the guy, the guy with the dog a few days oh ago. Oh my gosh, yeah. I sent inch. a picture of that to you. Literally an inch, inch. Oh. dog hair. Oh, look, I even have cocky on my finger. Oh my God. No, well, now I got more cocky, because whatever, I'm retarded. <sighs> wow. So we saw all of the amp readings beforehand. Um, we replace, we're replacing the dual capacitor. We're installing the soft start. We're using the chemicals. We're using the new Calgon, new bright. Why? Because it's far superior than refrigeration technologies, the Viper Venom Pack. This stuff will eat. Your skin. This will take herpes off your skin. If you had herpes, use new Calgon, right? If you have like uh if you have like your underarm pit smell, use the Viper, right? Use that for deodorant. But if you want to secure yourself with STDs, you got to use the, the <laughs> new Calgon, new bright, because that will literally take it all the, those nasty things off your schmeckle. Plain and simple, plain and simple. Very, very nice. That is a very, very nice coil. Very, very nice. And ladies and gentlemen, let me get your thoughts and feedback. I'm contemplating becoming an ambassador, a brand ambassador for House Cold Pro. In return, oh, what is this, this look? I don't know. You don't know? Troy Jano, what, what, what's the last cup? They didn't use uh, House Cold Pro? No, they used a phone call and a notepad. <laughs> I'm considering becoming a brand ambassador for House Cold Pro. I have a meeting 
a Zoom meeting this afternoon. We'll see. Maybe they can entice Mikey Pipes with just enough little, uh, like a smear of little extra. All right. Peter, yep. ready for the new Calgon, the new Bright? Ready. Ready. Ready, spray. All right. We're using the foaming action of the new Bright by new Calgon. Oh my God, he just, <laughs> he sprayed on us. It'll take the color out of your pants too. Yep. It's like, um, I just ordered five different pairs of pants. Oh yeah? I like these ones better with the extra knee because I eat through my knees really quick. What brand? Oh, Red Cap? Red Cap yeah. They're good. We love the Red Cap. Red Cap is the Red Cap is the supplier of our uniforms, our shirts, and our pants, and the jackets too. The winter jackets. Yeah. Oh, because you're too tiny. Yeah. We're gonna beefing you up a little bit. You know, we got we gotta get you a Latina chica. Oh, speaking of Latina chicas, I have an announcement to make. If you guys have been watching, I've been talking about the 50,000 subscriber pool party. All right? So we're, we're going to have it. It's going to be in November, more than likely. It's going to be in Florida at the Hard Rock Casino and Resort in Hollywood, Florida. It's just moments away, minutes away from the Fort FLL, Fort Lauderdale Airport. And we're going to have multiple cabanas, the, uh, the Bora Bora cabanas. Bora Bora, it looks like you're in Bora Bora because you have like these little floating islands, which are little cabanas that accommodate 15 people each. So details will, will soon be released in upcoming videos. But listen, I'm not renting out like 20 cabanas, you know, for hundreds of people to come. Right. I'm going to probably have two cabanas. We're going to accommodate probably 30 people. And don't worry, other people can come. They have to just go on the lower level where, you know, where the, the lower class people live. Right. Keep it real. Right? And we're going to have a, like a lottery. It's going to be like a lottery for tickets. Right? Because obviously there's going to be no cost. You have to get yourself there. And you have to get yourself a hotel room. Right? But it's going to be fun. And we're going to have Latinas Chicas. We may have some guest appearances. Making cameo appearances. Maybe Godzilla. Maybe Kelvin. Probably not Kelvin because now he's a New York City police officer. And he can't associate with like... <laughs> bad people <laughs> like me <laughs> right um and it'll be fun it's gonna be fun i can't wait so ladies and gentlemen if you aren't a subscriber well it's too late <laughs> right you have to be a long-term dedicated subscriber we're gonna have a lottery for a drawing because we're gonna only gonna have probably at most of 30 people but it's gonna be epic we're gonna have female entertainment we're gonna have debauchery we're going to have everything you could possibly imagine going on. And it's going to be epic. It is going to be epic. I will never disappoint. I will never disappoint. But Daniel, remember, don't bring sand to the beach. That means if you're going to the beach, you don't bring your girlfriends. You're looking for girls, you know. Don't bring sand to the beach. Let's say hi, Nana Claire. Hi, Nana Claire. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. All right. Our... <laughs> Our condenser is almost reassembled. Daniel installed the 80 over 5 dual capacitor by Amrad. It's got that CPT terminal on it. We're going to hook up our hard start, which is adding right there. And uh, we're going to see what kind of results we get. Our coil is now basically brand new, nice and clean. Uh, while we were disassembly cleaning this, Daniel went inside. We treated the, uh, the drain pan with the Viper. The, uh, the pan and drain treatment. Blew out the drain line. Was there a capacitor for the blower or was it a ECM motor? Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> All right. Well, I guess if it's blowing, right? But, but if you ain't testing. Awesome. All right. We're all reassembled. Let's set our voltmeter to read amperage, min max. And let's put it on there. And if you recall, with the soft start removed, it was 127. Now we have a brand new clean coil, hard start, new capacitor. 
I think we're still gonna be 127, but you don't think so? No. Okay. Peter, do the honors using the proper techniques. Here we go. Oh, Peter, now you have to wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait, let it, wait a minute. You gotta do it like, you gotta shove it in there like balls deep the first time. You're working on a spider web. Hold on, hold on, I gotta reset it now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. What's what? Yeah, they're not lined up in there. And it'll probably still go in, but see the oh, the top one. Those ones are all. Let's get some. Take this out. Uh, wire up the compactor, then put it in. And okay, we got it though. All right, so. We are working with, wow, what a difference. 82. I pushed it from against the wall. 82 was our max LRAs. Right? LRAs? Is that what it's called? Yep. Let's see. All right. Let's see what our amperage now is, which really should make up a difference. 15.5. Wow. Wow, we were at 20. We were at 20. But let's let us let us let that run for a little bit because there's always going to be a naysayer. Like, oh, Mikey Pipes, you're going to let it stabilize. Let it run for a few minutes. Get that off my job site. See? We're going to let that run for a hot minute. 15.7. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this conclusion of part two of the soft start killed the compressor. Did you really think that I was going to leave the job in that manner? Did you really think that I was going to just leave the coil dirty? Ladies and gentlemen, it was 5.30 at night. I didn't charge in the emergency rate, but they called literally 15 minutes before that. And less than an hour later, I'm on site. The system's fixed. I got paid. I'm on my way back to the pool. That is how you deliver service, right? You want to criticize and make fun of me? Go right ahead. At the end of the day, I'm Mike Dyack, and you're a keyboard troll. All right, you got me going. And since I'm on blood pressure, high blood pressure medicine, my heart is fine and I still love you. Cause I love you, you love me. We're one big happy family. Thanks so much for watching guys. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash it! Like you wanna make mashed potatoes, smash those potatoes on Thanksgiving day. Subscribe and hit that notification bell before I pop a blood, a blood vessel. Do it now.